Hello everybody, today we make a new video. We apply Venetian plaster. Simple method, by your own hands you can do this. Let's see and comment during the work. We have here a tablet like this, it's ready. We already applied a decorative plaster before. Then we got bored and now we paint it all over. You can do the same if you don't have a textured wall. You can prime it, correct some defects and then after that to paint. In this case, the perfect preparation and ideal smoothest wall is not needed. The paint is waterproof here. The roller with a tiny pile. We paint in circles. The corners, very top and very bottom, we paint by using brush and the rest by using the roller. Roll it out all over so there would not be any drips left. Everybody chooses the color for themselves. The paint needs around 2 to 4 hours to get dry, everything depends on wetness. It can dry for a longer period of time, or it can even get dry in 1 hour, so pretty fast. So we paint it and then we just leave it to dry. Now we will make a stone cut effect. White and colored Venetian decorative plaster, so we add it and then when it's mixed, we apply it. Just like this by using palette or a trowel. It's easier to use a trowel. Yeah, by using a trowel it's more comfortable and faster. The layer should be 1 mm on my opinion. It can even be too much. But yeah, not so fat layer. You regulate colors for yourself, whatever you want, green, light blue, red, whatever. And somebody already will think that what you see on the tablet now is a finished result and we consider it to be beautiful. But it's not the end. Now it's gonna be an interesting moment. Just wait for it. We apply the plaster to the small area because it gets dry pretty fast. If you're working on the wall, then apply paint on the wall like 50-50. Um, a small area here. This sample is around 50 on 60 centimeters. We apply that and we wait for an interesting moment to come. Cause I'm waiting. <laughs> Then we take this comb and by shaking our hand we imitate that kind of texture. Before showing this to you, we already did this before. The clients really enjoy it, so we decided to demonstrate it to you. I mean, why not? We get a lot of requests on how to make it at home, which means that people want to do that at home and they are not scared at all. And these easy methods will help you to decorate your interior in absolutely any color. So we applied our texture and then we move on to another area. But we do this while the plaster is still raw. I will say it again. Don't apply the plaster on the whole wall at once. You have to apply just a certain area from the top. From the top left, for example. So we applied a plaster to the area and then we formed a beautiful texture on this area of the tablet. And then we apply the plaster to another area and combine those areas while the plaster is still raw. Because when it will get dry, it will be hard to combine those areas to look like a single canvas. And by shaking the hand like this, we form the texture. The hand direction can be different. You see like this. However you want. Whatever your fantasy desires. 
and it dries. We let it dry and while we are still able to move the material and we can make an additional color for more maybe natural sample, it already kind of got dry a little bit and we add the effect. It can be done with the help of putty knife or a trowel, whatever you feel comfortable using. So we applied the paint, then we applied the Venetian plaster of two colors, the main white color and a little bit of black color. Then we, with the help of comb, made a texture on the tablet, waited till it's gonna get more dry, then we mixed the colors and applied another layer, and now we just wait for the tablet to completely get dry. After it got fully dry, we, with the help of a trowel or this Japanese putty knife, um, and we polish our Venetian plaster. Let's make it shine a little. And let's choose an angle like this. See? If we are gonna look at it from the side, let me show you. Here. Do you see? So the texture is shining. And at the same time, it's not fully smooth texture. And it can be seen pretty good here. It's seen very good when it's inside the building. Yep. 